So last week was dominated by the news that Facebook was repositioning itself as a metaverse company, Meta. And this guy interact with each other. That's what the metaverse is all about. Wanted to tell us all about it. The best way to understand the metaverse is to experience it yourself. You have but to experience it for yourself, right, Mark? Because it doesn't fully exist yet. It does Some fully of the basic exist. Building blocks are here, though. See, what Mark is telling us here is that the metaverse does not exist. But the fact is, it does. And it's right here in a number of different instances. Somnium, Decentraland, CryptoVoxels, and more are being built. So Mark's version of the metaverse, the marketing version of the metaverse, may not exist yet, at least in the grand spectacular version that he's talking about. But a metaverse, 100% does. In this episode, we're going to take a look at Decentraland. Decentraland is the OG of metaverses. There's so much going on there. And you may not think it's for you. You may think, oh, you know, if Mark says the metaverse isn't here, it's not here. But actually, it's so straightforward to get started in Decentraland. And two things you need to bear in mind. Firstly, it's governed by a DAO, which means that it's decentralized and its governance is determined by its owners, owners of the token, people who take part in Decentraland. Two, well, it's decentralized, which means you don't need permission to participate. Let's dig in after a message from these sponsors. Don't let DeFi interest rate volatility hold you back. With Notional version 2, you can lock in your rates for up to a year. Notional serves borrowers and lenders alike, so you can leverage up your crypto portfolio or build a fixed rate income stream on your assets on Notional's easy to use interface. With version 2 liquidity mining, LPs earn note token incentives, liquidity fees and interest on deposits of USDC, DAI, ETH or WBTC. Plus, LPs can even borrow against their liquidity for maximum capital efficiency. Notional.finance, stability and certainty now available in your crypto portfolio. TracerDAO is a derivatives meta protocol that allows anyone to create a financial market through Tracer's permissionless open source infrastructure. It designs and installs financial derivatives as deployable smart contracts via the Tracer factory. Financial contracts like the perpetual swap can be engineered and added to the factory for deployment, where it's voted on by TracerDAO governors before the new market is created. With TracerDAO, they envisage a world where you can effortlessly manage your local consumption risk, things like how much fuel you'll need and use, for example. One of TracerDAO's first products, Perpetual Pools, is a leveraged token that allows individuals to gain fungible, leveraged exposure to a price feed without the risk of liquidation. TracerDAO currently has liquidity mining incentives for users to enter into leveraged positions on either BTC or ETH, and there are extra incentives to provide these fungible leverage tokens to specific balancer pools, shoring up secondary market liquidity. So what Mark's talking about here is virtual reality style metaverses. And, and the version they've got here is beautiful, it's sumptuous. He's obviously on a green screen, but he's in an environment that is 3D. Then he looks at his watch and he says, oh yeah, I've just got to find something to wear. And then he finds a kind of creepy digital version of himself and he dresses it appropriately enough in a very nondescript outfit because let's face it, has no personality at all. And he's on a space station talking to all his buddies in space and they're playing poker and the whole thing is entirely wholesome and not cringeworthy at all. Okay, well, let's, let's just park it there because this, this is being presented to us as something that does not exist yet. But if you've played VR chat, if you spent any time with the Oculus Quest, most of these experiences actually do exist already. So what we're going to do today is have a look at Decentraland. So the first thing we do is go to the Decentraland.org website, where we're greeted with an experience that looks entirely similar to what we've just seen from Mark. Um, you have some nice graphics, you have wearables. Decentraland is, it's a metaverse and you can buy land there. And then on that land, you can create experiences, you can build whatever you want, and you can create wearables for your characters within that land to do whatever you want with. You can create games, you can basically do a bunch of stuff. Now, there are some caveats here, as we shall see, which is that the quality of what you can build there in terms of its graphics is probably not the best. So they've sacrificed usability for visuals, which is absolutely fine and fair enough. But the essential experience of it is not that different to any video game you might play. The difference is here. This is a persistent world. So if you leave, the world continues to do exactly what it needs to do and it continues to exist. It's not like you just save your game and then come back and everything is as you, would, as you left it. No, things change. New things can be built. And the other thing is that um, all the land there and everything that's been built is owned by somebody. 
It's not owned by the game. It's owned by somebody. So lots of entities have built, you know, HQs and different museums and different applications within Decentraland. But the fact is it's been around for quite a long time now. And so it's quite a mature ecosystem. Not that mature, to be fair, but it is pretty mature. So if you want to get started in Decentraland, you just click the Get Started button. Now, I have already been in and connected my wallet. So I'm going to connect, play using my wallet. And in my wallet right now, I have some wearables because you get airdrop wearables from time to time. There've been quite a few of them that have come through from various NFT projects that I'm in. But if an NFT project drops you a wearable, then you know this is what you can do with it. You can actually, believe it or not, wear it. Imagine that. So here we are in the Genesis Plaza and I've actually got the audio turned off at the moment because it would just get too annoying uh, to handle that as on top of the tutorial at the same time because it's really just a kind of base tutorial. So as you can see, I'm moving around with my mouse to kind of orbit around my character. It's very much like you would do in a video game. And if I want to move, I use the W, A, S and D buttons. Same as you would in any video game. And you can kind of look around and explore and go and have a look at things. If we wanted to kind of jump to something specific, there are um, some trending scenes here which are pictured in this pillar here. So if I clicked on one, and then I press the E and F buttons, I can go up and down. Oh, I'm in the middle of a cloud. A little bit clunky. There we go. So I can click on here, and then cycle up and down through the game using F and E. So if I wanted to go to this golf game, I could do that. If I wanted to go to Dragon City, I could do that, Vegas Plaza, Coco Jones and the Temple of Eternal Bananas. Let's say I wanted to actually go there. Um, I could just click on it. So let's get out of there. If I want to just move my mouse around, you click, uh, you hit escape, and that will get you out of navigation mode or um, perambulation mode or whatever you want to call it, locomotion mode. And then you just click anywhere to go back in. And then one of the fun things about the Genesis Plaza is you've actually got this kind of waterfall here. So I can go up here and go around to the diving board and I can actually jump off and go all the way down to this hole. Press space bar to jump and let's go. And down I go. I'm actually going to teleport to a new place. I'm now down in the bar underneath which is fun. So there's all sorts of different places you can explore down here and it's running super slow. That's probably because I'm recording at the same time. But here you go, the helpful octopus barman who is painting a picture at the same time then getting his Bob Ross on is actually uh, giving me some information. I could go through a whole kind of tutorial with him to uh, to learn about how to interact with people in the space. Now, if you want to get around and find other places, you hit M to bring up the map. And now we can kind of look around all sorts of different places in Decentraland. So there was one particular area that I actually was kind of keen to look at, which was, let's just back up and see exactly where we are. And that is Sotheby's. So this is the Sotheby's Gallery in Decentraland. As you can see, there's a gold ape and a gold dog outside. And things get even weirder as you go inside. So once you're inside, you don't actually want to be running because at the moment I'm running every time I press W and you can hold shift and then you'll walk a little slower, which is a bit easier for these smaller buildings. But you can go upstairs past another ape and then into this really weird, weird environment where it's all apes. So I can interact with that. And this will give you information to take you to the Sotheby's auction where you can actually go and um, bid on the ape, I believe, which is kind of funky. I don't want to be there. And let's see. So there's a whole collection of these, which is sort of a dist an exhibition space. And you could go in here and there's another weird place here. But this has all been built and designed by people. And there are actual metaverse architects who are building these environments. And you can go and explore and explore and explore and explore to your heart's content. So many NFTs here. It's almost frightening in a way. Uh, this whole collection represented in virtual space, allowing you to go and um, just explore and, and see the whole collection. Now, we, we got a, a kind of view of my character here. But what if I want to change him? So I'm going to click 
press on escape to go out and I'm going to click on this boy here. And this gives me a little bit of information about myself. I am super massive. But I can also bring up my backpack and in my backpack I have my belongings. So here I can change my entire look and feel. So this is why we're going to interact with some wearables that I might have been given. So here you can see these ones in green. I can click on the uh, information here and it will tell me that this is an NFT on Polygon. And I believe these ones are also on Polygon. Yes, so these are my Artifact Alien Carapace uh, shoes. So I can actually click on those and then the character will wear them. And there you go, the character is now wearing them. And similarly, if I want to put on a special top that I might have, so I've got a few of them here. I've got a Bored Ape one, put that on, and now I'm wearing a Bored Ape hoodie. What about some strides? What about these? What are these? So these are template cargo pants. Template is a NFT project. What about these? What are these? SDBSF flight pants. Slumdog billionaire flight pants. So I could put those on. Look like a bit of a douche. There you go. Right, I'm ready to go raving. Look at that. Uh, similarly, if I wanted to change my facial hair, obviously, why would I change that look? That's badass. If I wanted to change to that, to look like a real douche. Look at that. Jesus has come again to walk amongst us in a bald ape hoodie. Uh, then that is what I can do. And now it should change. And there I am, a completely new man in a bald ape yacht club hoodie. And uh, if you're in NFT NYC at the moment, then wow, this would be the look for you. So let's uh, hit the map again, bring up, well, let's see, uh, where should we go? So you can kind of pull the map around, take a look at where you might want to go. Now I can see that there's a bunch of people over here. So these red dots tell me there's people there. Uh, I don't think my computer is going to be able to handle it too much if, the, if I go to where there are too many people. But you can see there are all sorts of different places where, um, hey, there we go. There's an NFT.myc mask ephemera collection. So I could go there right now and you can just fast travel by clicking on it and then clicking jump in. And now it will load up the models, the sounds and everything else that go with that experience. And it's a little bit clunky, as you can see. Uh, if you have a faster computer, it runs faster. But again, this is not very different to the experience that Mark Zuckerberg is describing. You know, we can change our character, we can change the world we're in. He's talking about an AR and VR world, but we have that insomnium already, and it's pretty similar to what he's describing. So here we go, uh, here I am, and I apologize, my computer's running so slow at the moment. Uh, it must be all the awesome stuff that I'm talking about. But here we go, so that was um, probably 20 seconds for us to load up this world and be able to move around within it. Um, but there it is. This is very, pretty much as simple as that. So if you feel like this is just one step too far, it honestly really is extremely simple to get started in Decentraland and to start exploring around. On a good day, my computer wouldn't be anywhere near as slow as this and I'd be able to walk around quite freely. But um, I'm clearly having some issues with that. But that shouldn't trouble you on any standard laptop or desktop PC. You'll be able to navigate this thing just fine. Just don't do any OBS or streaming at the same time as it might just slow it down. But that's it. It's really as simple as that. And it's definitely worth just kind of having a wander around and seeing what you can find and seeing what other people have built. Because the metaverse in its more mature form will be a lot more advanced than this and be a lot more sophisticated than this. But this really is how it starts. This is the beginning of it. And... You know, this is going to be the shape of things for the next 20, 30 years. I genuinely believe that. So if you're a metaverse naysayer, then okay, I get it. But if you're not, and you're excited to see what these worlds can be, and what might be possible there, and what you might be able to contribute, then yeah, this could be for you. And I often say that the metaverse is, it's a world that rotates around you. And this is what I mean. The world literally does rotate around you. This is it's a universe where you are always at the center. And that should be obvious if you've played video games, which most of us have by now. The universe always rotates around your character. That is the whole kind of mindset change that you have to get when you talk about the metaverse. It's not 
let's go and visit the big city. No, it's my world is in immediately around me and it goes where I go and it changes where I go. And you literally see that as you walk towards parcels of land, the buildings create themselves because then, you know, they don't need to be always visible. They, they're cached and they arrive when you arrive. And now I've killed my PC. But that's the basic idea. So you only see what you need to see in the context in which you which you are. Uh, and the computer draws what you need to see because it only shows you what's immediately surrounding you. And that's good. It's a streamed, streamlined experience for you and for you alone. That's what the metaverse is about. And on that note, we should leave it there. I hope that was a helpful kind of first baby steps into Decentraland. There is so much more to discover here, as we'll find out in future episodes, but this is where it begins. And if I look over here, oh look, suddenly there's a bunch of cars. That's just the world telling me there's so much more that I need to discover. And yes, this is a giant rabbit hole you can get lost in, and that's entirely the point. Discover at your own leisure. I'll see you on the next one. Drop us a comment in the likes below. Subscribe if that's what you're into. Do all of those things, but don't do them in that order. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.